Okay. Thank you. Bumblebee is looking amazing. Yeah, time to head to the garage and see what needs to be done. Oh yeah, here. Moto ADV garage. It's like a little ADV course here. <laughs> Just to get to the ADV garage. <laughs> oh, there's a bike from Austria. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello how's it going? One shift later. Oh yes, there she is. Oil seal and oil change. Brake pad, rear and uh, front. Engine oil and oil filter change. Yeah. Brake fluid uh, control and uh, rear brake brake fluid change. Okay. Ah, this is the old oh, one. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Oh, That's great. Yes. This the old brake. Wow. Yeah. It's nearly at the end, hey? Just one millimeter. So you think now it can make it to England? <laughs> you go to America, right? <laughs> this motorbike would make it to America now? Yes. Oh, good. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye. See you guys. So there we go, Bumblebee, good as new, and ready to start the last leg back to England. The next day. I think somebody is hiding in Bumblebee's cover. Oh, hello. <laughs> Well, I guess I just leave her alone. <laughs> I just checked the freezer and we forgot some juice in the freezer. So this is completely frozen now. Well, we were drinking during the day, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the sun will melt that, no worries. Bumblebee's looking pretty good this morning. No oil leak anymore, which is good. That's amazing. And look how clean Bumblebee is as well. A lot of cat hair. <laughs> oh no. I know I've said this a few times during the trip, but honestly, I think Bumblebee is in the best condition she has been in for a long time. Everything is fixed. Oil has just been changed. We've got our new shock from Kazakhstan. We've got our new chain and sprocket from Kazakhstan. We've got our new fork seals in the front. I mean, whew. Bumblebee's ready for the last leg. Hoop. One, two, three. All right. Good morning, world. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Antalya in Turkey, and we've just had a really, really good break, good rest, a very productive break. Yeah, I think in total we edited eight videos, but yeah, we are so ready to continue on. Yeah, I mean, when we arrived in Antalya, I was like, pretty sick. I couldn't breathe through my nose. We'd been on the road for a few days whilst I was sick and it was just like, oh, I just completely crashed Yeah. for a few days. This city here of Antalya is so charming. They have a really, really beautiful old town. And of course we had some time as well to walk around a little bit and just enjoy this holiday destination. Yeah, it kind of felt like we were on holiday. Yes. Except that we had to do loads and loads of editing work. Yeah. <laughs> Which way is the ocean then? Yeah, can you go to the right here? There it is, the Mediterranean Sea. Nice. 
So here is the harbour of Antalya and this is the old town here and you can see all of the old walls of the city. This whole section down here in the valley was a walled city and we had a walk all through here yesterday down to this harbour. It's just so beautiful here. <laughs> beautiful place Antalya. But I was kind of surprised because there's actually no beaches here in the city. It's just a harbour. So there we go, the beautiful city of Antalya. But we've got an awesome ride coming up and an awesome place to visit. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we're going to be making our way through the countryside of Turkey, taking some smaller roads to reach one of its most beautiful sites, Pamukkale. So this place, Pamukkale, which means cotton castles, is a natural thermal hot springs. And it just looks like an absolutely spectacular place. And I think you can swim in the hot springs. So I can't wait to see it. Yes, Google Maps estimate it will take us three hours and 45 minutes. And it's already 10 o'clock. So better hit the road, let's go. Bumblebee is flying along at the moment and it just feels so good to ride this bike knowing that the condition is just really good right now. We've got fresh oil, we've got fresh brake fluid, we've had the fork seals done. Yeah, we also have decided actually to stick with our tires. We were asking Osman for his honest opinion and he said you should be actually fine with these tires. So. We were like, yeah, let's just, you know, let's just try it and it would be really cool to find out if we can actually make it on these tires, which we have replaced in America, San Diego, actually. Yeah, but these are the Dunlop Trail Max Mission tires and our first set did 16,000 miles before we changed them. So I think at the moment it's been around 14,000 miles since we left San Diego. So it's like just on the limit, just where we were last time. By the time we get back to England, we'll probably have done even more than 16,000 miles on these tires. Yeah, it's really cool. Best tires in the world. Totally, yeah. It's just so good to have the peace of mind knowing that Bumblebee is like top at the moment, top condition. I think we will make it to England like that, you know? I'm ready and Bumblebee is ready. Guys, we found our dream house! Look at this! Look at this abandoned villa in the mountains. <laughs> cool! I think it looks really cool. Let's check it out. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you said that just as I was thinking like, are those rocks gonna fall? <laughs> so we just stopped here to have a lunch break. But now we've stopped to buy a property. Oh nice! some sort of um, factory or something going on. Really does not look structurally sound though. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome home. I do think though that it's a little bit too much of a renovation job. I think that requires a bit too much work. It's just been such a nice road today. Winding through the mountains, really kind of peaceful, a peaceful ride. So what have we got going on for lunch? Is that some bread? <laughs> Uh -huh. But but just bread on its own or have you got something to go with the bread? Ah, yes, cheese. The good old bread and cheese. There you go. Yeah, I'm kind of over kebabs now. When we entered Turkey, we were just like kebabs, kebabs. <laughs> yeah. But uh, now I'm actually looking forward to a nice bit of bread and cheese. We've also got some corn, like some fried or cooked corn. We've got some peanuts. It's not bad, hey? I love fried corn. Yeah, this is really tasty. 
like barbecue flavor. And if you ever ask yourself what the best travel knife is, it's this one, Opinel Carbon Steel. Yeah. It's so sharp. Yeah. I show you. Normally, mm. can't cut, can't cut. Yeah. Tomatoes this are one. notoriously difficult to cut. Wow. And that's like after years of using this knife. Yeah. Seriously, we've had this knife for years and it, we've never sharpened it. It's so good. Yeah. It was actually a present for me for my birthday, I think it was, years ago, from a friend called Agnes. Thanks, Agnes. And it used to be engraved with challenge accepted. She got it for me when we were walking the Te Aroa Trail in New Zealand, the 3,000 kilometer trail from the top to the bottom of New Zealand. So this knife has been through a lot. It's actually so funny because yesterday we realized that we actually have the maps for Turkey on our Garmin which is perfect because anyway we run out of internet so we can't really route with anything else so we're using the Garmin and the Garmin is really crazy because it has adventure routing settings so and we put today like a little bit of adventure routing on there but the Garmin is just taking us like right and left this little dirt track up the hill I mean it said it was only like 45 minutes longer than the than the highway to get to Pamukkale so we were like, oh, that doesn't sound too bad. But now look where it's taking us. I don't even know where we are. I have no idea. There's like four settings on Garmin Adventure Routing. It's like not adventurous to like the most adventurous. And we are on like the third most adventurous setting. Yeah, we're always looking for an adventure. And then 10 minutes in, where's the highway? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've got some water on the road here. So it's definitely been raining here. So I think we're getting closer and closer. Closer and closer to the rain clouds. Yeah, it does not look good. Oh, look at that. Cool, there's already some white, I don't know, rock formations going on up here. According to my map, we've got six minutes to go. Cool. Cool. I think we might have arrived. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. Hey, can you believe it? Bikes go free. Yoo! Yeah, I think we're definitely in the right place. There's like a million tour buses here. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I think this has to be the, the most touristic attraction we've been to so far in Turkey. Yeah, it looks like a popular place, eh? Let me see if I can get through, get to the front. Yeah. Whoa, there's a whole crowd of people here as well. Oh no. Oh. oh. Can I squeeze through here? Just about, be careful. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, go around here. My plan was to park somewhere here. Okay, yeah, we can just go like, boop. Yeah, I guess we can just go here. Oh, that's a long ride. Hi, oh. Bumblebee. So we've had a look and the price is 30 pounds per person if you want to go swimming. And uh, we do want to go swimming. So we've decided actually that we're going to go and camp nearby here tonight now and then visit tomorrow morning because it's super busy right now. There's tons of people everywhere and the park actually opens at 6.30 tomorrow. So we reckon if we can get up early and get here at like 6.30, then we're pretty much going to have the place all to ourselves. It will definitely give us a chance to have a better experience because it is already quite late. It's like four o'clock and at six o'clock it's dark pretty much. So we will go now, find a camp and then tomorrow morning return. So we're just going to ride around the other side of this thermal pools area and just see if we can get a view which is basically the famous view of all of this terraces of thermal pools but you said there might not be water in there at the moment eh? yeah apparently i read on some reviews that they are drained like there's no water inside at the moment in the pools they sort of created one pool for tourists that they can like swim in there but all the other pools they aren't there so anyway before we find a camp we're just going to check out the viewpoint see what this place is all about hey 
There you go, we found some pools, hey? <laughs> <laughs> so we're now down the hill from the actual site, but there's still some cool pools here. We found a viewpoint here from the bottom and pretty much up there are the pools. And you can see like a bunch of people actually walking down along here. So it's a very impressive, but as well, very busy site. Beautiful, there we go. We can see a little bit of terraces. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty impressive sight. And people doing like paragliding up there as well. That's pretty cool. So we found a place on Ioverlander, which is not far away. There's apparently a wild camping spot. We will just head there now and see if it's possible if we can camp there. Yeah, apparently from there you can actually see the terraces. Okay, let's check out up here. Apparently there's supposed to be some camping spots up on the hill. Ah, oh, this, this spit, man. Ah, oh, it's quite a rough road. I think that's why people call wild camp up here because no one else is coming here. I don't know, man, it's a pretty tough road. And maybe it's worth to jump off and have a little look up there and see whether it looks right <laughs> okay. before I try and get up this hill. Yeah. Let me try and see if I can just put the stand down. No, I can't. I can't put the stand down. Okay, let's try here. No, I can't, I can't put the stand down. The hill's too much of an angle. Okay, can you hold the bike? I will try to jump off. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can jump back. I can't. It's got like a lock on it. It's this auto lock. It makes it really tough to go backwards down a hill. It's like very close, but it's just about all right. Okay, should we have a look up there? Oh, it looks actually quite good up here. Got some flat grass here. And there's a couple of vans already camping here. So yeah, yeah, I reckon if I can make it up that hill, yeah. then it's absolutely fine to camp there. It looks, looks fine. Okay. And the rest of it looks pretty good as well. It's just this one bit. So yeah. if I can get up that one bit and just keep going, I'll just go up until the yeah. grass just up here okay, to where it goes flat. Yeah. I'm just going to go for it, hey? Yeah, totally. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this line here, a bit of a rock step there, but it looks like I can just stay in this little groove and just basically just power my way all the way to the top. Should be all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves up this hill. Okay. Okay, no matter what, don't stop, don't stop. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's not that hard, really. Not when you've got Bumblebee. Awesome, good. Okay, good. We're up. We're up. Unfortunately, Levy has to walk. So there's a couple of campers there on that flat bit. Okay, if you want, you can stop here and then we can walk up the hill and see. If we walk up the hill and have yeah. a look? Yeah. Okay. This one's way too steep for me to get up. No way would I get up here. <laughs> so you can see the terraces from up here. Yeah. Just about. It's crazy, everything else is just like normal hills. And then suddenly there's just this huge white terrace. Yeah, remarkable landscape. Okay. We checked out the whole area here, but this 
not the very best flat spots around here. No, I think those camper vans got the best flat bit there. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided that we're going to go sort of at the beginning here. Oh yeah, maybe just over here. Yeah, this is a pretty flat area. Okay. This should be fine. Okay, yeah. <sighs> okay. And look, we still got a beautiful view of the hills. All right, let's set up camp. Wow, there's nothing worse than pitching up the tent while it's raining. Yeah, I can't believe the rain clouds just came in as we were pitching up the tent. I think we did that in record time. Let's just hope that it's dry on the inside. Good evening, guys. We made it. Wet and alive. <laughs> I still set up the camping chairs. I don't care. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I mean, this day started so nicely. We had such a beautiful ride. Yeah, and then it all kind of changed when we got here. It was busy. We were like, oh, let's not visit this place today. And now we're sitting here in a field in the rain. <laughs> We just had the break so many days, but I don't know what it is like. I'm tired, you know, I'm just tired. It's about five o'clock now, but I think at six o'clock we will sleep. <laughs> so we're just going to jump into the tent and probably cook up some noodles. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.